Hello there, everyone, and welcome. I am so glad that you are here. If you are new, my name is Lisa, and today we are doing some cozy fall decorating in my entryway. I am bringing all of the wonderful colors and textures of fall from the outside in to create this cozy and inviting entryway. So we're starting out with all the decor gathered together and placed around where I want to put it. This is the before shots and now we're going to get busy decorating. I'm going to be starting here on top of this corner curio cabinet. If you haven't had a chance to watch it yet, I recently made over this space and added this wicker lantern and this plant. That video will be linked down in the description box as well as up in the corner, so be sure to check that out. It looked incomplete when I decorated it in that video because I had plans to add some fun fall decor up here. I have had this leaf garland, which is all tangled up with another garland. For years, it is something I have kept in my fall collection of decorations. I'm going to just twist it and wrap it around, getting it to lay just the way I want. had this really pretty cream colored ceramic pumpkin in my fall decor collection for years now. It is a favorite of mine. I will be adding it up here to create that grouping of three. One of the basic design principles is to group and decorate by odd numbers and uneven heights. That helps to add more visual appeal throughout your home. This entryway table is one of my favorite spaces to decorate. I just love to make it cute and inviting here as you enter my entryway. I'm going to start by removing all of my summer decor. Some of it I will be reusing. I really like this wicker tray and the texture it adds, as well as the color contrast to the darker cherry wood cabinet. It's going to take me a minute to figure out how I want this garland. I had used it last year on my mantle, so this is a new space that I'm decorating. Do not feel like you are doing something wrong if you have to fiddle with your decorations, move them around, change things, add things. Take a few days to sit on it is what I like to say. To decide if you really like it or if it needs tweaking, that is part of the design and decorating process. It doesn't always happen as quick as it is seen here on YouTube and in videos. That is the magic of editing. And so real life, it is a little bit slower process. When you are decorating for a holiday or just everyday decor, think of it as layers. You're going to start with your base and then you're going to build up from there. You want a variety of textures, of sizes, of shapes. Again, decorating in odd numbers, three, five, seven is more pleasing to the eye, as are triangles and ascending sizes like from large down to smaller. You don't want everything to be in a single vertical line. That tends to be boring for the human brain and the eye to process. That's why you want 
the layers and you want the different sizes, shapes, and textures. It just is more visually appealing. And don't reserve lights just for Christmas time. I love to use lights in my decor throughout the holiday seasons in the year. I found these orange lights at Walgreens years ago. I don't know if they still have them there, but I have also seen orange lights at other retailers. They even had some at Dollar Tree the other day when I was there in the more expensive section. You can get fairy lights and battery powered lights that don't require a plug so you can add lights to places that you wouldn't necessarily be able to add lights to otherwise. And I think the lights just add another cozy, whimsical element to my decorations and overall fall design. This felt garland is so cute. It is a new addition to my fall decor. It is from TJ Maxx and is featured in my fall shopping haul. I will have it linked down below as well as it being in my fall playlist. And if you're unfamiliar with a playlist, it is a collection of videos in one spot. You can go onto my channel under playlist and find all sorts of them grouped and collected there. You can hit play and it will run through all of the videos for you to watch and enjoy. Or to watch the Hello Fall 2022 playlist, you can click on the link in the description box below. Or at the end of the video, there will be an option to click the playlist there. I would love for you to continue watching and decorating with me. picked up this whitewashed wooden pumpkin with silver stem from TJ Maxx for her $12.99 when I was in there recently and it is going to be a cute addition to my fall decorations this year. The silver pumpkin came from TJ Maxx as well for $12.99 and was featured in my previous fall decor shopping haul. I found these small topiaries and picks at Walmart. They had so many options to choose from and I thought the miniature topiaries were just so cute and precious. this little jar with the lid. It is part of my everyday decor that I took from my family room and decided to use it in here. This floral pick was not staying upright in the vase the way I wanted it. So I'm using a couple of paper towels to stuff in here so that the floral pick will stand up and not fall over. And I lost some footage of me decorating this space and it makes me so sad since it is one of my favorite areas to decorate. My memory was getting full and it just kept cutting off recording. So I lost those clips before I realized and fixed that situation. But in the end, the look turned out great. It was really just me fiddling around, moving things, moving them again, adding, taking away, adding some more. <laughs> it's a process. I told you it is absolutely a process.
moving across the entryway to this other table, which is actually a desk that I have had since college. I am going to use this orange blanket. I got this last year at Ross, and I believe I saw the same exact or very similar blanket there this season, and it was $9.99, so not very expensive at all for a throw blanket, and it is extremely soft. So I'm taking this pillow that's out every day and I'm flipping it around. Last year I used this beautiful cup towel that was gifted to me to lay over the pillow and turn it into a fall pillow. But in the end I decided not to use it because it didn't really go with this new pillow I picked up when I was getting groceries at Walmart. It was a super cute pillow. It says, hey there, pumpkin, and it was just under $7. But I pulled that cup towel off. I will end up using that in another space. Give it a good karate chop and you have an inviting place to stop. Set your coat, your purse, take off your shoes, whatever you need in your entryway. This pompous grass came from Pop Shelf, which is a spin-off of Dollar General. I showed these to you first back in my Pop Shelf shop with me. You can go back and check them out there. And I'm just arranging them in this vase that had the pebbles. I still really loved this little vase and wanted to continue using it and I think this pompous grass worked out well. I have had this gold bowl for probably a year. I just wanted to let you know that it was from Big Lots for $12 and they may still have it there. I don't know if it's something that they carry regularly or if it was seasonal, but if you wanna check it out and look for one, I just wanted you to be able to do that. All these little pumpkins I have collected are from Walmart. They had just bins and bins of pumpkins of all different sizes, colors, and textures to choose from. And I'm just going to arrange them in this bowl and carry out the neutral palette with the gold accents. I couldn't tell you how long I have had the spode leaf plate. I also have the matching canister and they've been in my collection for years and years and years. But I'm going to just add it here and display it because I love it so much. This metal pumpkin came from Hobby Lobby several years ago, but when I was recently in there, I noticed that they still have it available for purchase. So here is the final look of my entryway cozy fall decorations. I am so glad that y'all are here and that you watched today. I appreciate that so much. Hopefully this has sparked your creativity and given you some inspiration and decorating ideas so that you can create cozy fall decor in your own home.
If you haven't already, I invite you to hit that red subscribe bar, ring your bell, setting your notifications to all, as well as give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Again, thank you so much for being here. I hope you have the most wonderful and blessed day, and I look forward to seeing you on here again real soon.